Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial episode. Silent Night here, and today I'll be showing you how to automate Orberry Bush Collection. How cool is that? All right, so first of all, you want to first, you know, make your little, you know, your little farming area. Blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, see, so yeah, here I have all my Orberries. I've been growing them, and getting them all ready. Um, first of all, okay, so then you're gonna want, um, once you have your Orberries in your dark room, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little item that I like to call the blackout curtains. They're from Extra Utilities mod. Uh, if you have that mod in your pack, if you don't, then you probably won't have access to this item. But this is a really convenient item if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to like block off or have to deal with light levels. You can actually use a blackout curtain. By doing that, you can actually wa and walk through the blackout curtains. But you can see all of a sudden it's gotten a lot darker in here. How cool is that? If you really want to, you can make it double thick, triple thick, probably pointless. But yeah, you can walk through your blackout curtains, and all of a sudden it's super dark in here and you don't have to worry about sealing it off. It's a pretty neat little trick. But anyways, you see that there's the orberry bushes here. Now to gather them, you're going to want a harvester from the MFR mod. Uh, Mine Factory Overloaded, if you know what an MFR is. You're going to place that down in like a standard like you'd place it for any harvesting of anything else. Uh, you're going to want to get a chest by it, obviously to collect the orberries. And then you want to give it some power. And then pretty much just throw that down. And all, you can all of a sudden you can see, oh look it. Iron ore berries have now been entered into the chest because there's six, six of them, six of them ready to be harvested. Now you can see here that the redstone energy cell is actually giving off light. Now this is a little bit of a problem. So what I like to do is go ahead and put this underneath, like so, to get rid of the light, just to just to make sure it's not affecting the berries or anything like that. You can tuck your power source underneath, like so. Or if you're using tesseracts, or even better, like I would preferably, I I preferably probably use be using an energy tesseract over a redstone energy cell because it's just it's easier it's quicker uh, so yeah you get blackout curtains you throw it on your uh, harvester fairly easy to make uh, then you want to power that harvester throw up a chest so you can see there's more berries being collected uh, and then pretty much just let it go uh, you can probably throw up an energy chest to enter chests back to your your setups and systems and whatnot and yeah uh, you can put in upgrades in here like the your emerald upgrade like you guys up upgrade up upgrade you can grab yourself an emerald upgrade and throw that in there and you can get a huge field going and you can throw up a few harvesters and yeah it's fairly simple you just gotta automate fairly simple get your uh... get your berries throw up a harvester chest and let her go to town that's pretty much it guys hope you guys learned a little something um, trying to think if i missed anything but i mean this is pretty straightforward get your berries get your harvester get your chest power it up and let her roll Blackout curtains are always very handy. And uh, other than that, yeah, I, said, I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you guys uh, find this video useful and I hope you, you know, use these tactics in the future. And until the next episode, you guys take her easy.